update y'all <laughs> pilot with me today, Mr. Doyle Dog, and I am headed to Minneapolis. I'm actually testing out my new GoPro. Um, I got the GoPro Hero 4 Silver, and I've practiced with this a little bit, um, but like without any audio, so I'm not really sure how the audio is going to turn out for this little clip, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, let, let me know if you guys like the uh, use of the GoPro at all and it, it might be a little shaky I don't know I'm on the interstate so and my nose itches like crazy um okay so anyway uh, I'm, I apologize for my disheveled appearance I am already ready for bed even though it is like 7 30 because I've got about three to three and a half hours worth of driving ahead of me so the last thing I want to do is wear makeup and uncomfortable clothing so that's why I look the way I do at the moment Anywho, so the reason why I am going to Minneapolis for the weekend is I have some really fun plans in store. Well, yeah, they're fun. Um, tomorrow is a jam-packed day, as they all are when I go to Minneapolis. Um, Doyle has a vet appointment. I know, I know, I know it's really weird that I still go to the vet in Minneapolis, but I'm down there so often anyway that it's not a big deal and if there was some sort of emergency I guess I would just go to a vet locally in Fargo but I just uh, what I don't know whatever um, my dog has some health issues and stuff too but he only needs to really be seen once a year which is not that big of a deal but um, the vet that I've been with have, I've been with her for many years now and she knows all of Doyle's issues so it's kind of just I don't know to me it's kind of easier so I got that right away in the morning tomorrow um, I might take a couple clips of that, I'm not sure, just depending on this one's attitude towards everything. And then um, my friend Amanda and I, I'm actually staying with Amanda this time, and we are going to go to the container store and Ikea, like big surprise, I go there every freaking time I'm in town, but anyway, I have a bunch of stuff to do, and then um, the main reason I'm in town is because my city so like I graduated from Fridley High School and Fridley has like a yearly festival in the summer called 49er Days so in conjunction with 49er Days Fridley for the last few years has done like an all-class like high school reunion I've never been to one of these but I get the emails every single year and then I'm either not available or out of town or whatever and so Amanda, I went to high school with as well, um, she's like, you know what, let's go. So we are going to go and we're meeting some friends there and it's like really informal. So, I mean, there's like a band playing and there's a beer garden and I don't know if the carnival's like right there or not. I honestly haven't been to like a 49er day celebration since I was probably in, well, I was in high school. I don't think I ever went after I graduated from high school. So yeah, so that's going to be really fun. It'll be good to see some old faces, and um, I've connected with a few people on Facebook that said they're going to go, like, of the same class that I was in, or other classes, too, so it'll be really fun. I'm pretty excited to go and see everybody, and just, like, have a chill time. I mean, my high school is quite small. I mean, there was only about, I think there was only, like, 200 of us in a graduating class when I had graduated, so, I mean, everyone knew everybody, and... Like, everyone was just cool with each other. There was, like, no... I mean, there was definitely, like, cliques and stuff, but I don't know. There was, like, no, like, animosity and no, like, dr like drama like there is now, I feel like, in high schools. I don't know. I mean, obviously, like, I was way before social media and all of that shenanigans. And thank God, because... I'm sure there'd be like a new fight every week, but I mean, I don't ever remember fighting with any of my friends in high school, like ever.
so I'm not looking at you, but hi. Um, it is Saturday, it is the day of the reunion, and I'm in Minneapolis, and like I said before, I'm taking Joel, my puppy, which is a rock layer. We're going to the vet this morning. Um, I know it's weird that I have like an out of town vet, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I am going to do right now, and Doyle seems pretty excited about it because he's going on a car ride right now, so he is excited for life. Once we get there, he won't be that excited about life, so oh well. But they don't have to do anything too crazy. Um, really all they're doing today is just like a yearly checkup, so they may do a little bit of blood work just in case, but um, you know. They don't really do too much with him, so he's a he's pretty okay, aren't you, buddy? You ready to go? Are you ready to go? We're not going anywhere. We haven't had your appointment yet. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Amazing. Right. So good. <laughs> Yay. And I got my hot tea and my delicious rice that's not touching. Yay. Oh, hello. 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 So, how was dinner? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We went to Dragon House, of course, because we can't not go to Dragon House. We might get banned. Um, what else are we gonna talk about? I don't know. Oh, look at these cute old people! That's the majority of the people that go there. Oh, they're so cute! Little old couples. Yeah. Okay, so we are off now to the reunion, and we'll check in with you soon. Bye! Actually got to talk to. Oof. Sure, the, the same people I've talked to like for the past how many years? Yep. Kind of like nobody knew that you haven't seen in forever. Yeah, I mean we see all these people on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that too. So I don't know. It's like not everybody knew everything that was kind of going on with people. I guess I don't know. It was just kind of there's not as much. To it was tell fun. Social media in play. It was cool to see like. Steph's baby and you know like yeah. that kind of stuff but I don't know I mean it was fun don't get me wrong or your old boss <laughs> yeah <laughs> they graduated from Fridley Beyond's before you random but there was a lot of older people like classes of like 70s and you know before our time I guess oh look the crosswalks right there we are rebels till the end rebels till the end I used to have daycare in this building yeah, that's where our like latch key was he here in this building. Oh, yeah. So my mom used to drop us off every day. But then you Good morning. It is Sunday. Actually, it's not morning anymore. It is 1:20, but I am about 60 miles away from Fargo. Decided to take off a little early um, so I could just get stuff done at home and unpack and not feel like I missed. 
just a whole day of stuff. I gotta do, of course, regular household chores like laundry and, you know, cleaning up and whatnot. So, so that's my plan for the rest of the day. And I think when I get home, I'm gonna do like a Minneapolis haul and just kind of show you the things I got. I didn't really get that much stuff. But I did go to, um, I didn't really show you guys, but I did go to Ikea and I got a couple things. And then I also went to Container Store and I only got one thing there. But um, yeah, I had some fun there. Um, my friend Amanda that went with me, she had never been to Container Store before. So it was a, she was a little overwhelmed with all of the containers, you know, so anyway. And then um, I also went and took Doyle for his appointment. I don't know if you can even see him right now because he's laying down. So he is eight and a half. And at the vet we found out, or I found out, I guess, that he has cataracts in both of his eyes. But right now it's just like a, a Y shape on, on the actual eye. So he can still see in both of his eyes just fine. It's really not bothering him at the moment, but the vet told me just to like keep my eye on it, like literally and figuratively, and um, kind of showed me what it looks like when it turns into like full-blown cataracts. So it is something that they can reverse if, um, if it does happen to one or both of his eyes. So yeah, and then also one of his kneecaps is kind of wonky, but it's, he's never slowed down about that so and he it goes up and down stairs just fine and also jumps and jumps off jumps up on things and jumps down on things all the time and he doesn't limp or anything so she was excited to hear that um that's the first time that anyone had ever told me about the cataracts and then also his um hind leg left side knee so she said just keep an eye on it um you know there's nothing they can do for the knee uh at the moment because it's not bothering him once it starts bothering him then they can do like surgery if needed but you know they just don't want it to go too far because they said after that then if it goes on too long that they grind down like all of their knee cartilage and then it's usually a, a bigger problem you're creating a larger problem if you want to get it fixed so anyway but yeah, that is what's going on in Minnesota right now. I'm currently in Fergus Falls, so I should be home pretty soon. I'm pretty excited to get home. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, like doing laundry on the weekends makes me like jazzed up for the week. I don't know why, but I just feel like everything's clean and everything's refreshed. And I don't know, it's just like it gets me prepared for the new week. So, yeah, and then actually this week coming up, my mom from Florida has been in Minnesota for about a week and a half now, and she's going to come up and drive up to Fargo. She drove from Florida and went to Minnesota. She's visiting her mom and stepdad right now, and then also visiting, like, other extended family members. My, like, core family doesn't live in Minnesota anymore. My brother's in Virginia, and then my parents are retired and live in Florida, and I'm in North Dakota. So, yeah, so she's going to come up for about a week. So she'll be in town on uh, Thursday through, what is it, Wednesday, I think? So I'll definitely do another vlog then. All right, we got 50 miles left. Yay! All right, just got home and unloaded everything. So as promised, I wanted to give you guys a little haul from the cities. So let's go. All right, all the stuff, oops. All the stuff I got is right in here. So here is all the stuff I got at Trader Joe's. These are my favorite crackers ever. I think I've said that before. Also in my freezer. I got a bunch of these. I didn't get all of these this time, but I stocked up. I think I got four. The mandarin chicken, or mandarin orange chicken. So good. Highly recommend it. So I stocked up on that. Went to the container store, and they actually gave me, like, a freebie. It's like a Ziploc space bag. I don't know what I would use it for, but it was nice of them to give it to me. And then what I bought there, I only bought one thing. I had a couple of returns to do, was this jewelry organizer. And this is actually for rings, but I mostly wear like stud earrings, so I just want to put them in there. And I think I'm going to do an updated um, jewelry collection soon, so stay tuned for that. 
And then at Ikea, I bought this. This is actually a like planter pot, but I wanted to use this as a garbage can in my like filming room slash office slash guest room. So I like the look of this. And then the other things I got were I got this like pink and kind of lavender washi tape. And then this is the blue and green version of the same washi tape. And then I also got, let's see, will these focus? Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, these are paper clips, but they're in the shape of arrows. If you can see that. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be using this with my new planner that is hopefully coming soon. So, yeah. Okay, so that is it for the vlog this time. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And as always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye! You want to say bye? You want to say bye-bye? Okay. Okay. Well, good job. Goodbye.